Hey everybody, I'm Vince Gill. Just having a good time checking out some cool new amps. Hello, my name is uh, Laura Jomitz. Devin Gilfillian. Sadler Vaden. Claire Dunn. Sam Johnson. Justin Easton. Michael Carter. Kenny Greenberg. Dax Brown. Dace Vaughn Johnson. I'm Colby Thompson. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, and we're checking out some Black Star amps. Is this legal? This is cool, man. That's fucking light. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Shut up. It's so light. That's, in that's insane. <laughs> no, no, anytime I, anytime I pick up an amp, I'm just like ready. I'm ready for it. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. I'm glad I didn't work out today. Oh, man, that's nothing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's a cheat code right there. Oh my god. That's amazing. How oh, is it that light? What the? That, that literally is a lunchbox. Like, <laughs> lunchbox size head and it feels like a lunchbox. There's no weight to that. You've never had pimento cheese? I don't think so. Dude, cheese. you're missing out. Let's start with the two what, I guess. <laughs> Right now it's on the 50 watt mode and uh, the way how I have the EQ set up right now, a lot of amplifiers, especially on 50 watt, would sound um, really harsh and brittle and this is not the case at all, which is positive. <laughs> and this is on 50 and that's the two. Oh, we're still on two watts. It's kind of cool that you can get that. And that's a 50 watt. Yeah, I could live with that sound right there. Is that two watts or tw it's 20? Two. Two. Yep. two watts. The stag is the one that compresses and then kind of more like a 30-ish. That's more 30-ish. Yeah. And then it goes down to two. Man, that's, that's awesome. Mm. Crunchy. Really love the, the crunch on and the distortion on this amp. Tuning an option. No, I'm kidding. I mean, you prefer it being tuned? Here's oh, that's the, the other channel. Here's the two watt mode. It's really good. I feel if I had one, I might be playing two watts a lot. Like that's two watts just all the way up on channel one.
So you've got the two watt mode, which tames this, uh, tames the output of this. But I like the, the sag. I'm interested to try the sag feature on this, especially because you were saying it adds a little bit more compression. Oh yeah, that that's... Yep, that's that's how I'd run that for sure. <laughs> that, that sounds that plays great, feels there. The, and honestly, I have the EQ almost at noon. I think I have a yeah, just a little bit less on the bass and a little boost on the treble. A little bit more of a modern clean, I think. Super wolfy. <laughs> Okay, hold on, let's turn that a little bit down. It's really nice. It's really cool. I'd love to hear this on a big stage and just get that. It's got all that vintage woof that I love, but it's super clear. It's got a lot of clarity. Go to channel two. Let's see what channel two sounds like. Bites. It's got a bite, man. Yeah, a lot of sustain. I'm turning the gain all the way up. Yeah, and then there's a boost too. That's almost so crazy that there's even more than that. But one thing's for sure, you don't need any more overdrive with these amps. They, they pump, man. Wow, this is cool, man. It's got some kind of like, it's got a growl to it that I really like. Um, and then if you don't want that, you can just take the, the bass down a bit, which is kind of nice. <laughs> I like the reverb too. It's nice because you can get a really, um, you can get a great chug out of this amp without it feeling like, I don't know, some amps you plug into, you just want it to be super clean when you're chugging. And this is really nice, but it's got a growl to it. That, I'd have got no pedals, so. Sometimes you have to use pedal. I like that a lot. Let's go. She's warming up to me. Stop.
starts to glisten now. I know. Well, wow. it's, a guitar will do it to you. Yeah. So will an amp. It'll make you play it like you, they want it to be played. Yeah, that's wild. Always been that way. Okay, so this is the EL34 version of the same head. So much richness and that familiar EL34 rattle that I love. It doesn't have as much gain but the way I would use this, it doesn't need to have it. Although it's not, it's not short. It's just a different flavor. And if you keep this one dialed back, this is a great kind of alternative amp. Yeah, those two together would be just probably one of my favorite guitar sounds ever. Hear, hear how that one's got a little more sustain to it? Sustain. But I like that, it sings a little bit more. That's my kind of clean yeah, to me. Good. My kind of clean is not clean, <laughs> basically. Right. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Wow. They're awesome, dude. They really are. That is putting out a wall of noise, too, yeah. for 50 watts, for sure. Yeah. Boy, you really hear, hear it on this when you hit that. Yeah. doesn't get as distorted as the other one does. Well, it might be with the gain. You might have to turn the gain up. I, I like it. I'm yeah. I kind of like it. Now it does the cleanup really good. Is it fun to play? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, yeah. This is really fun to play. Dude, this thing sounds insane. See how that overdrive sounds? Yeah, that sag channel is ridiculous. <sighs> Goodness gracious. When are you guys cooking over there in England? Good God. I, I've never been a guy that's played like dual channel amps. And man, I'm getting my mind changed a little bit over here. Like it's it's hard to say no to that overdrive channel. Like it's it's high gain, yeah, but it's it's got like that that cut and still like tasteful warmth like it's 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 not a metal amp you know it's it's not like that modern it's like almost it's, it's hard to describe other than it just responds to your playing so well and makes you just want to 
Makes you want to keep picking up the guitar and just playing things. Just seeing where else you can go, you know? Man. Just like a really nice breakup for 6L6s. I feel like I have like a ton of control over, I don't know, it's a huge range of tonal capabilities for a 6L6 amp, you know what I mean? It really does like accomplish, I can't imagine needing more overdrive than that or more distortion than that, you know? Again, I'm really, I'm really impressed with how, uh, just how warm these clean channels are. Um, yeah, I was getting some plexi vibes from this. I mean, this is kind of ideally like basically sounds just like what my clean, cha clean channel is modeled after. Just out of the gate. I mean, what did I spend two seconds twisting knobs? You know, I brought the mids up a little bit and that's really it. I mean, just even out of, assuming out of the box, you know, everything at noon. This is great. Wow, that second channel is, whew, that has a lot of body to it and a lot of character. Like, the mid-range on that is just so prominent. I, it, it's very warm as well. Like, I, the amount of punch that's coming out of it is like I I'm almost speech almost speechless on how these things are sounding. That boost is almost. Those are, that's awesome. These must be spring tank reverbs, like real ones. No? Digital. That's digital? Feels awesome, man. I like the reverb, because it's, some reverbs on amps, like, you love, and some you don't, and I really like that one. It's, it's, uh, it's got the roominess it needs, but it's not too roomy, and it's got the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The length of the reverb I like, too. Yeah, it's got a sparkle to it in yeah. this reverb. Which you don't get on a lot of amps. You say it's a digital reverb, right? I Is guess it digital? so. digital? It's really yeah. cool. This is just all it the sound, way. It sounds like a classic spring verb. It does. Way. I'm a, you know, I'm a soul guy. So I need, I need a clean, like beautiful, sexy reverb, and, and all of these guys have that, which I was very much craving. I don't even know which one is better. <laughs> I mean, it passed the test. Uh, usually I have, I have uh, trouble with this guitar being too bright, but... I mean, I, I don't even have the tone rolled off or anything. It's just... It's beautiful. Sick. Super sick. Uh, this amp has enough push where, like, uh, usually I'm searching for that extra edge. This has the extra edge. And I'm not blowing smoke. I seriously mean it. Like, that tone right there is, like, so good. They react really, really well. And if anyone knows me, they know I'm more of, like, a P90 reaction. But playing this Les Paul, like, it already has that breath to it. It has a little bit more of an openness. And when I hit the notes, it's instant and they bloom really nice. There's something about the bloom, especially on this, it, it's like the more you push it, it doesn't kind of feed into itself. It actually blooms out, which is really sick. Usually, an amp like this, you'd think it would just collapse. You know, you'd hit it, and it just kind of dump in, but this is, this is a badass amp. I feel like I could probably take that thing and go play any gig anywhere right now. It's that good. I, I'm all about vibe and feel, and that amp makes me want to play it. That's really cool. That's sick. How do I get one? I know a guy. <laughs> you know a guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I would say the tones, these amps are so versatile. You know, I love Jimi Hendrix. I love to jump into the rock and roll world, so having the clean and having some dirty, gritty, nasty, crunchy distortion is exactly what I need, so. These are, these are awesome with that. I dig it. I think 
the, this, this line of Black Star amps, I think the logo looks fantastic, for one. I love the, the backlit logo. Um, I love the font. Just aesthetically, it looks really inviting. And then I think that these are extremely usable amps. You have the 6L6 version and a combo and a head and, and cab. And then you've got the EL34 um, for your more British voice stuff. And I mean, you, if you could run one of each, and you wouldn't need another amplifier, you know? Um, and I think having the options of it in a combo and a head and cabinet just gives players, you know, just that, more options. It, I don't know. I, I just like it a lot. After playing them, I mean, they remind me of so many, they just remind me of a great amp. They are a great amp to me. They go country real quick, in my opinion, so. Can I get one of these? Yeah. Okay, hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, these things are killer. Great weight, and I just can't get over how good it sounds. I almost would say, if I had to make a choice today, I would say I like channel two of that, and I like channel one of that. Right. But I don't dislike channel one on that. Fuck, I wish I had an hour to sit here and mess with the damn well, thing. I, I wouldn't need another amp if I was playing one of these, you know? Um, and I, I could see myself really leaving my overdrive distortion pedals at home with this. The reverb sounds great. Um, there's two channels plus a, a boost or a voicing, depending on which one you're plugged into. And man, the clean sound is beautiful. Having the IR out too is huge for me. You know, I, I, uh, I drag a universal audio aux box to most of my gigs so that I can do speaker simulation, get a direct line out, and uh, I'd leave it at home with this, you know? Um, that'd be huge for me. You guys are gonna tell me when these come out, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't really, I, I really have no harsh criticism, my friend, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's what you wanted anyhow. I mean, aesthetically, I like them both. I like um, vintage looking stuff. I mean, all my 60 slant cabs have the, uh, like the sort of tweed, or whatever it's called. So I, aesthetically, I like this a lot. This is exactly where my eyes go, is something like this, you know, like running two or three of these, and then like, you know, A, B, or like one, two, three, or some combination of, you know. Uh, but, I mean, they sound great. I mean, the Celestians in here are fucking awesome. So lightweight, sounds great, has a, at least, a, actually both of them have an amazing high gain tone. They have the feel of a vintage, and then you also get the flexibility of being able to play silently and actually be able to mess with the, the cabinets of what they be going through. Well, I'm sold. <laughs> I think I need to go home and, uh, and mess with my finances so when these come out, I can get, get, me, get me one of them. Can I have one, please? Like, what, 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 what do I gotta do? <laughs> you, have any, you have any hiring positions at Blackstar? Because I could, I'll be down. 